Hello everybody, welcome back here. Today, doing 12 gauge shotgun slugs. And what you see on the table, these are the Winchester Super X 1 ounce rifled foster slug. Right there. Take that a little up closer there to the camera. And these are the old packaging, two and three quarter inch. 1600 feet a second 699 for five tells you up on the top here one uh, one ounce not one round one ounce rifled slug hollow point five rounds in the box on the back uh, you've got a ballistics table simply states trajectory how much it's going to drop says hollow point full bore rifled slug designed for use in smooth bore barrels Fortunately, we do have a smooth bore shotgun. And right here is the updated packaging. Rifled slug, rifled slug hollow point. Made in USA, 12 gauge, 2, 3 quarter inch, 1600 feet a second, 1 ounce. Let's see, top, the side, and things change here on the back. Got an updated back. Stick that one actually uh, kind of like this here. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Okay, never mind. Screw that. We'll hold on to it. So, on the updated one, uh, tells you a little something. You gotta peel the receipt off to see that though. You also got another trajectory chart. Receipts, not receipt, but the price tag scanner tag is blocking it. Immediate knockdown, massive expansion, hollow point rifled slug for smooth bore barrels. Well, it's a little more, what would I say, modern, I guess. But other than that, they're, they're the same thing. I don't think anything's changed between them. They look about identical. Now, what we're doing, I'm going to go shoot a couple over the chronograph here. See what they get. This is a 28-inch barrel. This is a single shot hat filled picked up for like $130. And we've got that duct tape cheap uh, cheek riser. Use the camera, that's gonna make a lot of clicking noises down there. So, you know, it's one of the pains of being a lefty is all, all your stocks out there are cheek rised for the right hand side, and whenever you don't feel like spending the time making a proper left hand stock you just uh, take some duct tape and a little hunk of wood and uh, you, you do it yourself in like five minutes so now over time we'll get something more situated but that seems to work so far so good for me so, chronograph and 25 yard ballistics gel shot for what we're going to be doing and let's go and get into that all right camera's up and rolling Environmentals right now, temperature 45.8 degrees Fahrenheit, humidity 49.4% relative, and a pressure of 28.62 inches of mercury. Let's go see how these uh, 12 gauge slugs handle here. 28 inch barrel, single shot. Yeah, we can. Look at that bad boy shaking down there. He's a uh, shaking bacon. Come on, camera focus on him. There he goes. He's a dangling. Tell you what, that hurt the face. The little five pound shotguns here definitely mean their business. Should put some kind of padding on this. Holy hell, I see what just happened. <laughs> Ship the lab radar off here real quick. Um, my sight post. I I don't have a sight post anymore. There it is. Holy I'm gonna have to I, I don't think I said anything bad. Damn. 
All right, hammer's decocked, and shotgun is in. And we just blew the gopher right off of the strap. Again, no velocity reading. That is an absolute bummer. Um, I don't have a gopher anymore, so. Damn. Fortunately, there, there is no velocity reading. Ah, uh, yeah, could not track projectile. That sucks. A lot. My face hurts. I gotta go pick up that gopher. Let's, uh, let's smack one into her ballistics gel here. Gives us a BC of 0 0.0757. Hopefully that's in focus right there. Those are numbers at the top of the screen. Again, no reading on the lab radar. Things making me mad. I mean, I'm getting beat up. We definitely hit that gelatin now. So let's go see what that looks like. So, uh, hey, I don't know. Oh, oh man, we captured that. Oh, there it is. Wow, fell down in there. Okay, okay, hold on here. Let me, let me go dig in this out. Holy shit, it split the table. <laughs> I think you guys can see that. But, uh, okay, so uh, there's our recreation of our blocks. And let's go, let's go show you what happened. That right there is our entrance. Just uh, put that into perspective. Holy sh Wow. Okay, hold on. Let me. Let me waddle you over this way. That is our entrance. Which won't go in the focus. Ah, uh, here, how about perspective? There's a finger. I, I can put a finger in that. <laughs> okay. This is a top side view. Remember, these blocks are 11 inches long, so definitely more than halfway. And then we tracked and stopped, and it actually held together. Holy hell! Okay, so, yeah, there we go. Here, here's from the side. Uh, we'll put this in the one block perspective. So this is 11 inches, that means five and a half is right about there. That is five and a half that I'm drawing for you. And that's about where the majority of the cavitation happens, though it does carry to the nine and a half inch range. I'm gonna put a tape measure on the side of this table. We carry into that second block, or actually I'll, I'll also just pick this up and lug it up to the table here. Uh, my face felt that 
fortunately chronograph still didn't want to pick it up so I, i'll try again just just to get one number off of this I, I want to know how fast these are going uh, that's impressive that is impressive all right so brought you up to the measuring table here just that way you guys get a quick look again that is five inches of full permanent cavitation and it trails up until around the eight and a half inch mark a little hard to see on this side but if i take you up we see where it starts to taper before it dies off we come right down we are eight and a half let me take you over here and right there is our slug and we just get perpendicular with it we can find 13 oh let, let me remember where these measures are here uh, so Fourteen and around three eighths, fourteen and a quarter, the fourteen and three eighths of an inch. Sorry about that, I just forgot how to work a yardstick. That's impressive. What we'll, we'll have to dig that boy out and see him. So that's that. Um What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and try and get one chronograph reading off of this and face will keep up with it. But Anyways, okay, so we got a shotgun slug right there. Wad still attached. Whip out our calipers. I think the camera might be too zoomed in to actually gather anything. Nine, hold on, point nine eight four five. Hold on there. Pick it from this end. Point nine nine one five. Point nine seven four. Point nine seven six five. Point nine eight four five. I think I already hit that corner. Point nine nine zero five. Point nine eight two. Point nine eight. So let's remove the wad actually. Oh man, that cool looking. Nine six. Nine seven. Nine seven nine eight eight five Nine seven six nine seven four five right there. Almost an inch, just shy of being an inch. Let's uh, let's go grab our scale, and we'll go see scale. We got a weight of four hundred and thirty point three grains. If I remember, 437. So we, we just lost about seven, seven grains and two tenths off of an ounce. Almost, almost 100% weight retention. You see them little fibers right there, the rifling in the slug, even though it's a smooth bore. is cool 
That is impressive. I like how it is hollow. That is kind of interesting. Would like to know a little bit more about how that happens, though. Kind of looks like a washer. Uh, damn. Whoops. That's all I got to say. So, yeah. That's also going in the video right there. Almost an inch wide. Almost came out to 25 millimeters. Uh, don't get shot by a fucking... I'm going to have to bleep that out. Or no, I'll, I'll leave it in there. It's not like I'm monetized or anything. My recommendation, you know, it's the uh, Surgeon General or General Surgeon, or however it goes, recommends don't get shot by a fucking shotgun slug. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you again in our next video.